the Faro show in English. I already did it in French and in German. It was a big success here in Europe. And uh, thousands of people saw it and were quite enth enthusiastic. It gave a lot of answers. And um, yeah, so the Fair Rose Show, I <clears throat> so I do it now in English, especially for the Americans, so they can uh, see here the proofs what's happening. I mean, uh, it's about the pharaohs and it's about the enemy within this is the um, this is the sign of the Templars you can see it in any tank in America the American tanks like in Iraq even the uh, the Israelis they have it upside down and behind it is the uh, the Templars cross and actually the Templars cross if you take a pyramid which is three-dimensional and if you fold it out you get the Templars cross so where are the Templars? where do they come from? You know? here is an obelisk the castle here is a, uh, is a Templars castle and later on I'll show you even skull and bones uh, in, the, uh, in the chapel the Templars chapel which has a typically Templars form. Excuse me. So there's an obelisk. The three, the four balls but underneath it are the four elements: fire, earth, air, and water. And the obelisk is the symbol of the pharaonic domination. It's also a phallic symbol. And as it is carved on top, well, you can't see here, but I, you know, we'll have a closer look. If it's usually it's carved on top that's a symbol of the circumcision because the circumcision uh, it's coming from the pharaohs the uh, the Hebrew people the Arabs the Muslims the Americans 97 percent of the Americans are being circumcised since uh, um, 1967 and it, it's all from the pharaohs yeah so this is the uh, Templars castle in August the uh, Freemasons, they come here, all dressed up, you know, in the pharaonic stuff and, you know, the skirt they're having. And, um, of course, of the, um, out of the Templars came the uh, Freemasons. And here we can see it, because where did the, uh, the, the, the Templars treasure, where did it go to? Of course it went to Switzerland. And with it, they founded the Swiss banks and the banksters see and I can prove it Here it is again the Templars uh, sign and this thing here is called the joining it's Freemasonry you know like it keeps together and this thing the whole thing is called the Grail that means our blood is here we are here our descendants are here see so um, Actually, the last crusade was in um, in 1291, and the last stronghold of the Templars was Aachen. It lies in the north of Israel now, and Aachen fell on May 18, 1291. Only two and a half months later, the time to get back at this time in those days on horseback, they founded uh, Switzerland on the 1st of August, 1291. And uh, this is why the tim the the, um, the uh, Swiss cross is a simplified uh, Templar's cross, actually. Obelisk sort of has a um, has a ball on it. That means the world domination. Uh, this is I think it's a grain even, and the grain means our descendants are here, our grains are here, our our seed is here, and if it's a ball on top of it, it means we rule the world it's a symbol of the world domination and the obelisk stands for the god Osiris and the water for the goddess Isis so the entrance of the castle here so we can see the symbol here there's even a small Templars cross you see it's a it's a fold-out pyramid 
and it's the W. You know, like W, W, W. You see? It's a fold out pyramid, see? So it is of the uh, of the pharaohs. Ages, all, all through the centuries, they had the uh, prime noctes, that means the first right. That meant, especially in Switzerland, that meant the, uh, the lord of the castle and all the uh, nobility here and, and the knights, well, they had the first right, you know. When a, uh, when a couple of the, uh, of the local peasants, when they got married, the first night, they had to come and sleep and spend the night with the, uh, with the local lord here. And this is how they, um, how the pharaonic seed uh, got spread. Uh, and this makes Switzerland typically Swiss. Uh, and your face is smiling at you. And when you turn around, they say, well, go and have a step in the gas, gas chamber, like, see? Sort of the names of the lords here. Yeah? Von Stratlingen, Bovenberg, well we know this symbol here, and we know that one now, there, here. So the date perfectly fits as well, 1338, you know, 1291. Here we just came through the gate, and there it is again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four. It's all WW. Yeah. And here it is again, the, temp the sign of the Templars there. Being seen on every tank and helicopter like in Afghanistan and Iraq. Yeah. So it's still the same who are ruling. And they actually, they're ruling America. This is the, uh, the Templars Chapel. We can see the round form here at the other side, which is typically a Templars Chapel. And here's the, um, this is the castle here. Yeah, this is the castle. So this is in Spiez. It's not very far from Bern. It's in the canton of Bern. You see the face in here? Now what does that mean? What does that mean? It means they're watching you. Big Brother is watching you, you know? And it was so important, these, uh, the Templar symbol, you know, you find it everywhere. There it is again, so small, on an armor's plate. Yeah. yeah, so important, all secret symbols. It means we are here, the pharaohs are here. You know, and it's also a, a Freemason symbol, you know, the triangle. Well, as I said, the Freemasons, they come from, of the Templars. Hey, here. Yeah. There he is, you know, just came back from Jerusalem, 1291, the last crusade. So here on top, this is the old tower, you can see that. There it is again, the Templar symbol, it's all over. Oh, let's go and have a look in the, in the chapel then. There it is. This is the entrance of the chapel here. I hope it's open. It should be. So it was open. Very nice. You can see the typic typical round form of the Templar chapels. Uh, yeah. And behind here, they got a secret compartment where you can see skull and bones, Freemasons. And the Freemasons, they come in here in August when they celebrate the birthday of Isis and Osiris and Set, Set. Yeah. So, there it is again. And this is the secret compartment here. I will get up my flashlight and uh, we can have a look. And which is important here, if you look back here, we can see the all-seeing eye here, looking in your back, you know, piercing in your back with the sun rays, like on the dollar, 
and a triangle. The Freemason reads triangle. You see? So who's ruling here? Yeah. And here too. There it is again. There as well. And um, yeah, probably the same names here. Von Grafenried. And yeah, it's all Latin here. So, well, shall we have a go and have a look in the uh, secret compartment here? Yeah? Here they let children disappear. You know, they do very bad things here. Yeah. We are. Let's see. Skull and bones. There it is. Freemasons. Yeah. There it is. And the Templar symbol. Yeah. And there it is again, the Templ Templar symbol here on the on the floor. Well, it's hard to say like that. And here they have a secret door here. Of course this is locked, this is closed. And uh, there it is again. The Templar symbol there. And the joining on top here, it's a joining. And here they have the secret compartments here. Uh, here they do sacrifices of children. And the Swiss, they have a very long tradition of sacrificing children. This is how actually they make Swiss, you know. And uh, they even, the, the Swiss, they even had uh, children slaves until 1989. They call them for Dinkinder. They had to, uh, they were slaves. That even their own children, and they uh, they were beaten to death. They were starved to death. They were sterilized. Even it's it's unbelievable, you know. Well, we know the media; they lie, you know, and tell lie. Vision lies as well, and um, so they lie about Switzerland, you know, this clean country. But this clean country you know, financed every war. And they still attract very rich people, you know, like from all over the world. So they don't pay any more taxes at home, but taxes have to be paid. So it's all going to be paid, you know, by the poor people. It's coming on the back of the, uh, as, as a burden on, on, the, on the poor people's back. And uh, so this is how poor people get poorer and rich is getting richer. Because the rich, the rich never paid any taxes, you see, and stuff there, so. thing as well, it says I-H-S, with the Templar symbols. I is for Isis, H is for Horus, and S is for Seth. Yeah. That was the entrance there, and here's another one of the chapel, the Templar's chapel in Spitz. Here we can see the typ typical round form from the outside of a Templar's chapel. Yeah, see? Oh, look at it. Clean Switzerland. How are they so clean, you know? They are so clean. Yeah. Look at it. Clean Switzerland. Oh, man, so clean. And they're in key position all over. Josef Dijs, he's the uh, the president of the uh, United Nations now, in New York. And um, we had Carla Del Ponte in The Hague. We had uh, uh, Dick Marty, he's uh, uh, for the United Nations um, against torture. You know, like he should do something against Guantanamo, but he doesn't. We had uh, Lucius Wildhaber, he was the, the, uh, the director in Strasbourg, in Europe, of the Human Rights Commissions. These people are so powerful, these Templars. They got their people all over on key positions. And they're not going to do anything instead of saying, you know, otherwise than saying, oh, Switzerland is so clean. Look at this, the Swiss, the Templars flag. Oh, I can't see it. 
A little bit of wind, please. Yeah. Come on. No, nothing. So, as well, most of the ships, you know, they brought the slaves to, to the Americas. They were, they were even owned by the Swiss. And then we talk about Swiss. And, you know, in Switzerland, we know we have to say Templars now and Freemasons. Because this is where it started. That's why this country was in no war at all. And they say, the Swiss say, oh, we are so clean, you know, we had to def de defend ourselves, you know, against these horrible Europeans, the French and the Germans, you know. But they lie. It's the other way around. The Swiss terrorized France completely, you know, and uh, just before the, uh, the French Revolution at La Bastille, there was a French, there were Swiss mercenaries who terrorized the whole of Europe. And uh, they were torturing and uh, keeping prison, imprisoned uh, French um, uh, citoyen, citizens. And which was worse, worse actually, that was the 30 year old war, the 30 year war, that was the worst war in, uh, in Europe. And um, more than 100,000 Swiss mercenaries, they murdered more than a million Germans and because the Swiss you know they had to everybody was a peasant at those days was a peasant at those days so the uh, Swiss mercenaries they had to come back like around the 1st of August you know to help because of, around the 1st of August uh, roughly the uh, uh, the harvest started and then they came back loaded with uh, looting uh, goods you know from all over all over Europe and uh, then they shot ones in the air with their muskets, you know. Uh, they had their horses and, and donkeys loaded and mules. And they shot ones in the air with the, uh, their muskets. Kadung! And then the Swiss came pouring down the mountains, you know, uh, from the forest and the fields where they were working. And then they celebrated the murder of the Europeans and their children, which they still do until today's day. On the 1st of August, which is their national holiday, where they celebrate, you know, the Swiss mercenaries coming back. And this is why the Swiss man still has his assault rifle, you know, a, a, like an M16, like, or a Kalashnikov, in his house, in the cupboard, under his bed, completely legal. Every man has it here. And um, th this, this is a typical mercenary tradition, you know. And um, so after the Oktoberfest festivities, the Swiss mercenaries you know, they, um, they went back, uh, he, 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 um, terrorizing Europe, terrorizing Europe. And uh, after the 1st of August, um, he cleaned his rifle and put some, uh, some pig's grease on it. And then he put it in the cupboard until after the October festivities. And then they went back and um, terrorizing the Europeans. So from the 1st of August up until um, the end of October, was a time of, uh, of, of peace for the Europeans, you know, because these Swiss mercenaries were not there. That's why we still have the Pope's guard. You know, these, uh, they are the Swiss mercenaries. That's what left of it. There's still about 500. Now we are in tune from speeds. We're going direction uh, Bern. This river is the Aare. And um, here we see one of the most secretive sy symbols it's the sun hieroglyphics if you see this here it means we are living here you can knock on the door if you also have pharaonic offspring and we'll organize to uh, to kill him the um, to finish them off the Europeans and their children in secret societies like now we've got our uh, internet and cell phones and all that in the Middle Ages, we didn't, they didn't have it. And as they are so mixed, they've got problems to recognize each other. So um, they have these symbols so they could recognize each other and like organize. Here we got on top here is the Freemasonry triangle and other secret symbols. So this house is really full of it. The house next to it, 
there. Again, the sun hieroglyphics in a slightly different form. But it is here. <laughs> if we look at the other side here, what do we see here? Two obelisks. So what are the, these pharaonic symbols doing here? They apparently, I, they apparently have 33 stones. And the one on top is called the keystone. You know, like the, in all the magazines, all the pictures being done, like the photographs is keystone. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are true Freemasons, of course. So, what is it doing here? So, it said in the Bible, the Pharaoh and its army disappeared in the sea. But that means they disappeared in the sea of people. They are within us. The enemy within can't be recognized anymore. George Bush, Tony Blair, the whole bloody lot. Um, and this is why the um, Freemasons, they got the secret letter, the G. Well, it's not that secret anymore. You know, and uh, they have a ring with the G and, you know, and within the, their symbol they got the G. They say it's from God or Le Grand Orient. You know, the big Mason Lodge. It is not true, it's from the Hebrew word Gola or Golut, which means diaspora. It means they came over the, all over the world. And um, so many peoples had a diaspora, you know, the Kurdic people, the Armenians, the uh, Albanians, and also the uh, pharaohs did. Pharaohs finally. Switzerland was the biggest base in Europe with which they conquered Europe. That's why they speak four languages here. So the French speaking Swiss, they can um, do their things like in France and the German speaking ones like in Germany and the Italians of course to the south. So they can go all directions and Switzerland is very central. All the water, like all the water of Central Europe is coming from here. And um, then they finally um, founded America. Well, first of all, they say America is uh, from Americo Vespucci, the guy after Columbus uh, founded uh, the Americas or discovered the Americas. You don't call a country Norris Street after one's first, first name. So it should be the United States of Vespucci, logically, honestly. But I tell you what it means. Every syllable, I'm a historian, and I translated the word America. Every syllable in the word America has a very important pharaonic or Freemasonry uh, meaning. Ah means big or pregnant. When a woman is pregnant, she's quite big. Me, mer or meru is the word for pyramid. Ri, it's the word for the sun, like the sun god, Ray or Ra. And Ka is the soul when we live. When we die, they call it Ba. That's why the Arabs have the Ka Ba, the big stone in Mecca where they turn around like. And if you put Allah behind Kaaba, you get Kabbalah, the Kabbalah. So this is not a coincidence. And if you read America from right to left, it means the reincarnation of the big pyramid will take place where our souls will live. And look at the dollar, there she is, you know, the uh, reincarnation of the big pyramid. And look at what the Americans are doing. Conquered the new world, they called everything with car. This is there where our souls will live. America, Chicago, California, Canada, Alaska. North Carolina, South Carolina, Kansas, Jamaica. In Europe, we already had Africa. Re a lot of sun in Africa. Um, Stan, um, Corsica, uh, the Canary Islands, uh, Cameroon. They're ruling all over the world. And they've got all key positions.
And where they have key positions or rule like in the city, they dress up these things here like this here. Like in New York, and like in Washington, excuse me. In every American movie, they show the big obelisk in Washington. That means we're ruling the world, we're indoctrinating your youth. Otherwise, we wouldn't have enough soldiers like doing this, um, uh, killing people like in Iraq and Libya now and, and Vietnam and all, the whole bloody thing. You know? And um, so, like what they do in Hollywood, they indoctrinate, indoctrinate our children and they. Um, show it it's so great to put a nine mil in somebody's forehead you know with some nice music with it and everybody can be the hero you know in the personification of heroism and this is why we've got you know soldiers police force They're very smart very smart and here they are in the first base in Europe Switzerland the first pharaonic base here we are again a bit closer you see how it is carved on top, it's just a symbol of the circumcision. See? People just walk past it for, you know, the whole life and they don't understand it, they don't even see it. They think it's a pole for the lamp, a lamp post here. Yeah. Gotcha! So this is a fancy hotel, you know, for the rich, still in tune, this is Yara. And uh, look at the triangles here. The other windows don't have it, so it doesn't make any constructional sense. It's pure, the pure sense is uh, symbolic, secret symbols. Yeah. And uh, so, and here on top as well. So this is the first, one of the most seen symbols, like, we are here, you know, it means we are here. The Masonic Triangle, or Pharaonic. And we got the joining, as I showed you. The joining, actually, that's almost a G. Yeah. So the joining is the Acacia tree. And then we got the Sun Hieroglyphics. Personally, I like the Sun Hieroglyphics because nobody knows it. And, I mean, where are the Pharaohs? Where are they? I mean, Nice Switzerland, clean Switzerland. I mean, look at it. And what do we see on top here? Some more obelisks here, carved on top. You see? And another one. So, I mean, where are they? Old peoples are there. The Germanics are there, the Chinese, the Persians, the Celtic people, the, the, the Romans, the ancestors, you know, the, the, the Italians, uh, the Arabs, I mean, uh, the Hebrew people. Uh, even the Maya, the Aztec, the language is still being spoken in uh, uh, in the Incas, in uh, like in Mexico. Where are they? Well, they are within us. They they are all over the pharaohs. They're not there anymore because the people who are living there now they're Arabs who came there after the Islamic conquest. But the pharaohs were already gone. They are within us. They're ruling the whole planet. All nations are being ruled by them. And if there are people like Carthagian people, like in Libya, who want to have a revolutionary leader, okay, they give him Gaddafi. And he just talks like people want it. But he's not doing the same thing. He's a bloody dictator. And the same thing is in North Korea or in, uh, you know, the different makes out the, um, the different peoples. Like the French. They don't want to run like 100% with the system, so maybe they run 20%. So that's, that's why they get chaos. The Germans, they run 100%. So, you know, they got a lot of welfare, you know, a lot of uh, everything, you know. And the Swiss, they run 400% with the system, so they get everything. Very rich. The Romanians, you know, they don't want to run at all. Because they are the Dacia people, and the Dacia, they smashed two Roman legions. Amazing. They are like Kurdic people, or Chechenians, or Afghans. They even fight the system, so they get war and bloodshed. And the Kurdic people, they, they only mix in between each other, you know, like with each other. Only cousins and, you know, 
so the pharaohs they, they don't get it's not easy to get a Kurdish lady or Afghan because they mix with it with each other and so that's why they uh, divided Kurdistan like over Iraq and um, Turkey, Iran, Syria, even Russia, you know, to um, to destroy, to, to smash up the people. Like bank still in tune. You see, it's a bank, and banks usually have the uh, the sun hieroglyphics. So the next war, if you want to live through it, you better paint this next to your door, over your door, and you're not going to be killed like. You know, like in the Middle Ages, painted on your door. So here we got ISIS. We make a better shot, you know, close up, you know. Well, she doesn't look European, does she? If she's standing on the earth, it means the world domination. And here on the other side is like a bloody temple here, with the pillars, you know, and Freemasonry tri triangle. And here's another temple here. Yeah, and the aim. Oh, okay. There's Isis. I mean, I mean, look at it here. Yeah. I mean, a European peasant girl. She wouldn't carry a bucket of milk like this. She would take it under her arm and look at the Cleopatra haircut and the nose and everything. This is pharaonic. You know, this is not European. And look at the dress. And it, this, this, this is a Nile dress. You know, this is Egypt, ancient Egypt. And the ball here, that means the earth domination. And the aim of these pharaohs is, has always been to play people out, to play peoples out against each other. You know, like in the first, the Second World War, the Germans lost 78 percent of their men. The uh, the Russians, 25 million people. So all the men were dead, so who takes the women, the country, the land, the cattle and the power? The enemy within, the third party or the third Reich, you know, one empire is fighting the other empire and the third empire, you know, the third Reich, the empire within, takes everything and this is how they do it. They always try to play people out like, like putting up a difference. Um, in the color of skin, ideology, religion. Uh, this country, uh, Switzerland, is the center, the basis, the Al Qaeda of the pharaohs. And their banks to finance Adolf Hitler and the rest, the mercenaries with this country and their Templars and their Freemasons, they, they put Europe on their knees. They destroyed Europe. They are the enemy of Europe, and they still don't want to be Europeans, you know. This can be definitely seen by their uh, unwillingness, like entering the European market. Uh, Isis is here. There she is. Nobody sees it, no. But the witches here know it. The witches of Switzerland. Here's everywhere the sun hieroglyphics. And actually, when the Templars came here, and they founded this country. They called it Swiss from French. Because French because French was the world language at that moment. And uh, as English is now. And um, so they call it Swiss. And Swiss is an abbreviation for Suisse, and it means Sir Disis. Sir Isis. Les Sœurs Disis. So the, uh, the Germanic population, the Alemannic population, the, uh, the uh, average Swiss, they call it, so after Swiss, they call it Schwiss. And Schwiss is an abbreviation as well, you know, and it means Schwiss, Schwester Isis, the Schwester der Isis. So this means the Sisters of Isis. So this is what it means, the name of this country. And actually, they call it like in English, Switzerland. They call it like Switzerland, they do. And uh, these Swiss witches, actually, you know, if there's a, is a foreigner here having a, a child with a Swiss witch here, 
he usually is gonna lose his child. He's never gonna see him again. Because they don't want a man, the male aspect, to have any influence on his son. So they can make um, another Swiss garden gnome. This is how they make Swiss people. You know. No male influence, no descendants, no, um, no father on son information. The symbol here, it's the acacia tree, and it means uh, the joining, like sticking together. In Washington you can see it as well, and all over. There it is again, the joining, the weird thing on top here, again. Uh, here is again, joining. Secret symbols, you know, to um, to make them understand. Well, they, this this belongs to them, definitely. The joining, and actually, the biggest biggest sacrificial festivities. Of the pharaohs, this day is being called Enkutatach, still being celebrated in Ethiopia and by Freemasons. And guess what? Enkutatach is being celebrated on September 11. They did it. They're ruling the whole planet. I'll show you some more things. So, September 11, Enkutatach. Look it up in the internet.